Hello and welcome. Welcome to the world. Uh, yeah, this is the world. Cool, ain't it? Um, well, uh, the world is like the spawn point is two islands. Uh, one, which is kind of like a spruce island, and then the other, which is like a jungle island. And then to the south, there's the actual continent. Uh, but let me show you some of the things that. Uh, so this is Minecraft one. Mm, point eleven point two okay so the newest minecraft and uh it's everything's vanilla so you don't have to download anything or anything but i've added some plugins and one of the plugins that i've added is this slime font guide uh or uh and it adds like new items to the game uh which i thought it'd be fun to play around with um you unlock okay i apologize um my sound cut off uh, for the duration of this video so I am recording back over um, yeah so we're looking at slime fun I was just talking about like portable crafter and portable dustbin and just some of those things I'm gonna show you like some of the basic things that you could do like the enchant enhanced crafting table which uh, hopefully I'll click it and then yeah when I click it I show you that there's a crafting table it's a, called a multi-block thing, and you need to put a dispenser uh, on the bottom and a crafting table on top, and it will become the enhanced crafting table. It will be a multi-block structure, and if you want to learn how to use it, you can click view this item over there. So, yeah, it's pretty explanatory, and then they have a little thing down there, a link, so that you can uh, do that. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Um, and I think I'm going to, there's something I'm really excited about unlocking, or I was excited about unlocking, because I've already done it, um, but I'm pretty sure I go to the Enhanced Furnace, yeah, which means that you can get faster furnaces, and all these recipes use, uh, they use levels to unlock, so you have to spend levels, and so I just spent seven levels to unlock one, and it actually unlocked one and two together, and then... Uh, so I click on the thing, um, the name, which I hopefully, oh yeah, I'm just explaining, oh, I'm looking at it, oh, it has a multiplier, processing speed, and I'm like, oh crap, heating coil, I have no idea, uh, so it's heating, it's surrounded by heating coils, and then I have to craft it in the Hans crafting table, uh-huh, and if I, I, I go around looking for the heating coil, uh, but I don't find it. Uh, so, um, but while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna take a minute to explain. Hey, uh, I'm showing these things that I put on the server. If you don't like them, we can take it off. Uh, I just thought it might be fun. Add a little fun to Minecraft. I know there's a lot to explore already because a lot of us have not even seen the past updates uh, <laughs> very much. So, yeah. Um, again. Uh, just let me know, yeah. Anything that we've put on, we can take off. We could restart in a new place if you don't like the island lives. I know, it's just like, I just want to explore. And then when I logged on, I, did, I, I got an island biome. And, uh, and so, here, there you go. Uh, but I think I'm about to give up. Yeah, and, and so I go back to the heating coils, and I'm like, well, you know what? I can look up up later using that URL right down there and I can find out how to get a heating coil because I'm really excited about one of the furnaces to tell you the truth. Uh, I have some puppies um, and then I introduced the co-op. Anybody can come. I, I really hope that y'all come and work on the co-op. It's the cooperative building. Uh, this is a chest f filled with items that anybody can take. Uh, just remember to replenish. Um, but it's there to get you know get things started, and if you want to build and add on to the area with these, you can. Um, I know that the co-op. Oh yeah, and uh, the important thing is is that there's ten map floors. I spawned a bunch of map floors in just to kind of get an idea of like what this area looks like, where's the continent, and just to let you know because I know some people may not be like, oh, we're in the ocean biome, how boring, you know. So. Uh, I think it might be fun. 
uh, to keep the ocean biome in this, and especially like over there is like the jungle. Oh yeah, that's a great shot. The jungle biome. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, I think I uh, when I go into the house, I'm gonna mention the jungle biome, but you wouldn't know because the audio is lost. Oh yeah, there's food here. Uh, we have potatoes and uh, wheat. Yep, and so there's the potatoes right over there. Um, so feel free to, yeah, feel free to use that stuff, uh, replenish that stuff. Uh, and I'm really excited. I'm just really excited about. Oh yeah, and up here, I think I'm gonna put like a a to-do list board for the co-op. Um, so if anybody wants to take some, or yeah, to take some of those to-do list things like. Uh, here, welcome to the co-op. I got a lovely view of the that jungle, which is awesome. Uh, and then barracks is right over here. Um, you're free. There's about five beds in the barracks. Um, and of course, if you just if you want to claim a bed, all you have to do is take it down the sign, put it back up, and have your name on it. Uh, mine's in the middle, and so I have a bed there and a chest. Um, and the chest behind us. Just the, I don't think I look at them or uh, really do much with them, but uh, I was going to put like a whole bunch of cobblestone swords and cobblestone pickaxes. So, like, when we die and we're like, oh crap, I need a sword, I need a pickaxe. Well, hey, you can just pop open that chest and grab one, you know. Uh, but if we have an idea for this chest. But we need all kinds of things here. Oh, oh yeah, this is really pretty. Uh, if you notice uh, back there, the way the candles were done. This room, I don't know what to do with it. I just put my other chest right over there, kind of storing crap right now. Um, and then if you go down uh, behind me, if you go down to the mine, then it's the mine. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, just talk about the town, talk about how excited I am of, uh, building a town together, playing with everybody, because I am, I'm really excited, this is going to be fun. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the next mod, uh, not mod, but, uh, plugin, and I believe that what I want to find is in the, uh, that biome, but it's not, uh, so... Surprise, surprise. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the point where I find uh, what I want to show you. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so yeah, I, I, was, I lied. Um, it was not in the, uh, in the jungle biome, which is like to the east, southeast-ish. It's a the jungle biome. It's kind of over that way. So yeah, like that way. So it's not in the jungle biome. Um, the uh, the ruin actually uh, spawned right there. So yeah, I mean it's a it's, it's a ruined house. It looks like um, still in creative mode. I'm gonna give myself. All right. So yeah, uh, the microphone audio cut out again. Okay. So just <laughs> showing you. Uh, yeah, it's a ruined house. Um, so it makes me think about like. Maybe at one time there was advanced civilization that was living here, you know, and then this area was flooded and now they left it. So we're going to go see what goodies they have inside. Uh, the ruined houses, they usually have like loot chests and, uh, oh, sorry, I know the, it's really dark in here, but I'm going to find some chests and they have stuff inside. Like, uh, I think there are some batteries, there are, uh, some... Uh, like diamonds, batteries, uh, a uh, fishing rod with structure, heel. I mean, I don't even know how that works. It may not um, at all, but it's called the old dragon. Old dragon fishing rod. Maybe you can catch a dragon. The dirty challenge has luck and fire resistance, which sounds fun, actually. Uh, and other quartz. And you can, you know, you can come over here, find this ruin. Uh, there's a talisman of the angel. Look at that. 75% uh, chance to keep you from taking falling damage, which is nice. Golden challenge has a lot of stuff on it that you can put on your armor. Uh, yeah, so 
It has knocked back four, though. That's really weird. I don't even know what Sweeping Edge does. Um, but yeah, and then there's the Faceful Monster Potion, which gives you Hunger 3. Don't know why you'd ever drink that. But uh, hey, it's fun loot, and if we like it, I mean, that's cool. If we don't, so we could take it off. Uh, you don't want to have these ruins. They're actually really rare. Um, spawns really rare. So uh, now, however, you might go around and you might see like two that are really close together. Just because when I first started out, like their spawn rate was like a 20% chance, and they spawned a lot. And so I took it down to 1% chance to spawn. Um, I might do it to 2%. Who knows? Uh, just depends what we want. If people are like, man, I haven't found any ruins, well, I might increase the spawn rate or whichever. But yeah, uh, help your, like, feel free to come on the server. Uh, if you, uh, if we're like, man, uh, let's a, have a do over, then that's what we'll do. We'll have a do over. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to try to go back to my base, which I already I made it back to the base successfully, but I'm going to end this video, and I hope you have a good time, and I'm glad, thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the server. Bye!